Obviously uh, an emotional return, but uh, just came up short tonight. What did Florida do defensively that uh, gave you problems? Yeah, I mean, I just think that uh, if I was going to be quite honest with you, I think that it just it, it came down to us executing. Um, and then obviously Florida is a really good team. I mean, uh, there's no doubt about that. And um, but, you know, at the end of the day, when we get opportunities to go capitalize, um, we just got to take advantage of them. Um, you know, that's that's what it boils down to. Felipe, now that the game's over, I mean, what, what was it like for you emotionally being back in the swamp and playing your old team? It's awesome, man. Um, if I was going to be honest with you, it's awesome. Uh, just to be around those guys, I mean, just to see the excitement that they had um, and, and to, to see me and for me to see them and all that. And uh, and in between the lines, it was even it was even fun. Just being able to go out there. And I've been against those guys for four years and to go out there and actually play and they can hit me and all that. You know, it's fun. It's fun, man. It's just you love the game and that's what you play it for. The relationships that you build along the way and all that. So it was a, it was a blessing to get out there and have the opportunity to play against them and see them again. Bob. Uh, Felipe, uh, uh, Grant Murray and Barry Odom were saying they thought you really handled the emotional part of it well. You know, you focused and you obviously had a good game looking at your stats. Well, was it hard to keep your emotions in check or how'd you, how'd you deal with all that? Yeah, I mean, no, it's not hard to keep it in check. Just being mentally strong at the end of the day. Um, you know, uh, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm here to help the, the, the Hogs win. That's, that's my main goal every Saturday, week in and week out. Um, but, you know, like I said, you don't forget about the relationships that you create along the way. You don't forget about I was here four years and, and was an alumni. So you don't forget about that kind of stuff. But at the end of the day, um, it, it was just it was a good opportunity to come out here and play another football game, late game or a 7.30 game, seven game. Uh, ESPN, there's nothing more you could ask for. And these guys, I thought, took advantage of it. But yeah, I think the emotional part was good. Um, thought I handled it okay. Uh, but yeah, it is sentimental coming back, man, and, and being able to be and play against the guys that you created so many relationships with along the years. Let me know if you've got more questions in the chat. Scotty. Hey, Felipe, could you detail your connection with Mike Woods tonight? And did Florida do anything to take him away defensively, you know, between the first and the second scores he had? Yeah, um, I thought Mike played fantastic. Did a great job of winning them, uh, you know, Versus man to man, um, nothing more you could ask for. We we know that there's going to be contested balls within the game. They got good players. We got good players. So it's going to be a lot of you know contested catches. And he did a great job of finishing once he did catch the ball. Um, but no, I don't think that there was you know a game. Football is a game. You don't just go and say hey, oh, you know they stopped us here. Or, you, you make corrections along the way as well. You know they game plan for us. We game plan for them. So uh, at the end of the day, man, it's just about us executing our offense. Um, I thought more than focusing on too much of, you know, other uh, other stuff. And I'll just put it that way. I think that we just got to focus more on just executing our offense, doing good, playing on principle, um, you know, little things like that. I think we have a really good offense. Um, we're coming together week in and week out, working and grinding. And um, it's going to keep coming together. It's going to keep coming together. These guys work extremely hard to come out here and perform on Saturdays. And um, playing a top five team like Florida, man, come out here and play your heart out. That's all you can ask for, come out here and get a win and play your heart out. So uh, these guys did that. And uh, obviously we fell on the short end of the stick with the win, but it's a blessing to have the opportunity to come out here and perform like that, like they did. So I thought they played really good. Dre. Hey, Felipe, uh, I saw after the game, I mean, it seemed like almost everybody that you had contact with down here came up to you, even Associate AD Jay Jacobs. But the two that you spent the most time with were Kyle Trask and Dan Mullen. What did you say to them? What did they say to you? Uh, I think it's just, you know, uh, just the communication that we have, uh, the relationship that we've built. Um, you know, it's just – it's awesome getting the chance to go out there. I mean, Coach Mullins is a wonderful coach, great coach of what he does, and, um, and and obviously Kyle as well, being able to go out there. I mean, I've spent so many years with both those guys, um, and to see Kyle flourishing and then Coach Mullins flourishing and him giving me words of encouragement, man, it's awesome to have that. And – uh you no, know, it makes me feel good. So uh, that relationship is lifelong. It's not something that's there two or three years, man. You create those bonds and it's there lifelong. So just having the, the ability to go up there and communicate with them, you know, his thought, you know, so stuff like that, it's awesome to have that relationship with Mullen and Kyle as well.
Hutch. Felipe, when Florida's scoring at the rate they were scoring offensively, does that put any more pressure on y'all to not make mistakes when you're out there on the field? Uh, no, I think that's the main goal in the first place is to not make mistakes and execute. Um, but no, I wouldn't say that puts more pressure. I mean, obviously you got to put up points, you know, that's, that's how you win games. But at the end of the day, no, I don't think you play with a bunch of pressure on your back. I think you play to go out there and execute your job. Um, and you don't worry about, and it may sound kind of funny, but you don't worry about really what's on the scoreboard. You worry about going out there and executing your offense, get what needs to be to get done, you know, and execute when you get in the red zone scoring points so obviously uh, you know it matters but at the end of the day man it's just about executing our offense and I thought we did we did a good but we did okay at times that we could have improved on so got to get those things cleaned up and, and, and practice and stuff like that so last one Bob um I was not gonna take it two part if that's okay Felipe we saw you leave the field and you came back and I think you had a glove or something on your left hand I was wondering what that was about and then you guys obviously have still have three games left. How do you see yourselves bouncing back from this? Yeah, I think that um, with the hand deal, I think that, uh, you know, it's fine. Um, just playing through, you know, getting hurt and stuff like that. It, and, and that's something that's going to buff itself out. But um, what was, hold on, what was the second question again? I got kind of thrown off on that first one. Okay, so, so sorry to throw you off there. Just how do you think you guys will bounce back? You still have three, yeah. three yeah. SEC games left. Yeah, no, I think that we'll – we always have the opportunity. We're playing a home game um, to have a great crowd and go out there and, and win at home um, against LSU, which is also a very good team. So that's another great opportunity for us to go out here and go to work this week and get another big time win. So uh, I think it's important being able to bounce back, not having, obviously you don't want to lose, but just having the mentality of, you know, it's time to go back to work this week and do it all over again and come out here and get another win uh, and get a win. So that's most, what is most important right now. Um, especially to me and these guys to come out here and go back at it and go back to it to get another win this coming up Saturday at home even more. All right, that'll wrap us up. Thanks, Felipe. Thank you, guys. All right, everybody good? Appreciate it, Cal. Thank you, sir.